We started the virtual program just out of the realization that students needed alternative paths for graduation. They needed alternative paths in order to meet the needs within their schedule. We just needed more periods of instruction in a day. We needed more choices for students. We needed them to have a better selection of classes that they could take and really and truly more flexibility within their schedules. So we looked at virtual platforms, but a lot of them have to do with the teacher being in one spot and then students being in another spot. We were looking at virtual as being an enhancement to the curriculum. We decided that the best thing for us to do was to have our teachers design our courses based on the Alabama Course of Study and rigorous curriculum and instructional pieces, but also to have our teachers teach the courses. We have Florence teachers teaching Florence students, and I think that that's the key. You don't want your online students learning a completely different curriculum than their peers are learning. These students now have choice. If they want to take barbering and band and chorus, they can. They're not limited, and I think that what that does is it allows students to excel in the things that they love. I started virtual in my freshman year so that I could free up some time in my schedule and it would be like more flexible. I'm in pre-AP pre-cal this year. I'm very like math and science based. I am able to move at my own pace and kind of like just teach myself. I like to work alone and just be able to kind of do it my way. I'm able to like use that time to like have a job or like internship and kind of like see where I want to go and that kind of keeps me from entering a field that I don't necessarily love. Some students really catch on and really love learning independently this way so it's beneficial for them. We can meet with students um, face to face very easily, contact parents easily, parents can contact us. They know us, the students know who we are, so it's not intimidating to them to try to get help from us because we're not a stranger. Just because they're virtual and we're not in a classroom doesn't mean that we don't have any interaction. I think that's the beauty of having this virtual school with teachers from Florence. We can still get to know these kids because we're here on campus. And I've had several kids who I've taught in class or I've coached or different things like that who have ended up taking virtual classes with me later because they already had a relationship with me or already knew me. I, I kind of like history, so I want to sign up for this. So I asked my mother, can I sign up for it? She said yes. So I signed up for it and, uh, and I enjoyed it. And once I started uh, taking virtual history, it let me open up engineering and stuff, stuff that I wanted to be like, uh, learn more about. Taking classes online helped me be able to do my engineering. I really always been into cars and stuff. Once I get out of school, I want to try to get into the FAME program at either Shoals or Calhoun. And after that, I hope, hopefully I get the job up there at Toyota. I moved to Florence last year in November. Since I came in the middle of the year, I had to take math virtually because I wasn't able to catch up with other students in time. So I took math virtually in eighth grade and then over the summer I chose to take another math class so I could get ahead. And then this year I'm taking world history virtually so that I can fit in more courses to my schedule. And that way I can fit in all the courses I need to either over the summer or during the school year so that once I decide to go to college, I can have the credits and the classes to apply to colleges and be accepted. I do definitely think that taking virtual classes is preparing me for higher education because once I get into higher education, I'm gonna to wanna to take more virtual classes. And by taking virtual classes now, I'm being prepared for my future education. When I think of Florence High School, I think of any student who wants to do anything having the opportunity to do just that. I absolutely see the virtual school growing and evolving in the future. We are not a cookie cutter system. 
We are not a district that just wants to stuff kids in boxes. We really and truly want to meet their needs. And in order to meet the needs of a diverse population, you've got to think out of the box. You've got to think, what is it that's going to help students be successful? Virtual is a very important piece of that. Not only is it a platform that allows students to be successful within itself, but it also lets them expand upon the other opportunities that we provide them.